Um, I don't be on the clubhouse that much anymore because, like I said, it's an organization, and I don't feel like creating an organization full of niggas that, you know, uh, think, you know, bully people on there, and my opinion matters, and no one else can talk. I don't really get into that, but like I said, that's what WAC 100 has going on. So, WAC 100 was talking about um, how um, the Lavish D situation and where, you know, Lavish D feels like he was blackballed uh, from the industry. Uh, he feels like he was blackballed because Birdman wanted to sign up. This is when I made a video. I made a video about this about two years ago, if you go into my archives. And the the video is titled "Lavish D Lied About Signing the Cash Money" because everyone thought he was signing the cash money. He thought he was signing the cash money. He started that's why he named his, that's why he named his himself Cash Money CML Cash Money Lavish because he thought he was signing to Cash Money. This is when um, <clears throat> this is when Wack One Hundred came out and said that. Um, anybody ain't cool with Mozzie, I ain't dealing with. Now, you could call it a black ball, or you could call it, you know, the nigga beat you to the punch. <laughs> I mean, basically, you know what I mean? You had, like, the, th the thing about it is, you had an opportunity to move to L.A. too as well. You had an opportunity to move to L.A. and get your, get your, uh, uh, Get your rappers up too as well. Get your friends up. Get your uh you know, your um your gang up. You had the opportunity. You had the opportunity, you know, cash money, lavish D, get an apartment in LA. You could do the same thing. But the the, the fact of the matter is you move to Texas. Like and, and Texas people don't really fuck with Cali music. They don't. They don't play Cali music in the club. They may play Tupac for like a good five to ten minutes, gangster party, but that's about it. They, they do not play West Coast music in Texas. So moving to Texas was a bad idea. Uh, yeah, I know you want to get away from all the, the madness out of Sacramento, and I understand that. Because Mozzie got away from all the madness and the hate and Sac. And Sac is a very hateful city. Very hateful. They don't like to see nobody come up. Nobody, I don't like to see nobody come up. So I understand you leaving Sacramento. But moving to Texas was a bad move. Because nobody in Texas is really fucking with Lavish G's music. You know, part of me wants to, part of me wants to say that WAC 100 wants to tell him that you're just not a good rapper, bro. Part of me just wants to say that. He just wants me to say that. Wack 100 was just scared to tell you that you're not a good rapper, bro. Um, your songs have no inspiration. They're filled with a whole bunch of hate and jealousy. And if you ain't talking about getting on Mozzie, like, what are you really even talking about? I don't know, man. I don't really know what you be talking about. You can't be talking about being a driller and a killer living in Texas and all your funk is in Sacramento. You can't talk about it. So, you know... And, and and the thing is, I, I think that if you would have had a more buzz around you and your friends, it would have been a better package deal for WAC 100 if you had uh, a better deal of rappers with you. Dola, when he's not on drugs, he gives you a cool 16 when he's not on drugs, not not wigged out. Dre, Dreda, I don't know what Dreda is, man. You know, one day he's a gangster, next thing you know, he's coming out the closet dancing real, real girly. You know, on a video, so I don't know what Drayda is. I don't know what type of person Drayda is. I heard he's a funny dude, though. Uh, fat, filthy. Ain't hey, made enough. Money gang go crazy. I heard your own homeboys jumped him, took his chain, beat him up. So, uh, I mean, who else you got on your roster? One dude you had on the roster got killed. Uh, the other dude from L.A., what, Project Heavyweight, Project Bo, he, he's, he's garbage. No, no. I'm sorry, he's garbage. Nobody listens to Heavyweight, Project Bo. You go to L.A., ain't nobody listening to Heavyweight, Project Bo. Nobody, I never heard nobody from, I just had, uh, 
my girlfriend's boyfriend, uh, he's he from the jungles. I was just with him the other day. He played everything. He didn't play no heavyweight project, but not even once that was in the rotation. But he played a lot of LA shit, but he didn't play no heavyweight project, but um Yeah, so I mean I that's part of me just wants to say that he he just don't want to tell you that you're just not really a good artist. Uh I mean you, to me your best song to me is uh what's that song called again? Fuck. I, cuz I really don't listen to Lavish D at all, but I like this one song. Um You ever been crossed? And he's just talking about getting I mean, basically, it was a song about shit happening to you. You got punked, and uh, you know, you ever got your chick, you ever got robbed by your own homies, your own homies, fuck your own bitch. That song was cool. Uh, I forgot the name of the song. Someone knows the name of the song. I forgot it because I don't listen to it. <laughs> but yeah, man, so basically, that's what it is. It's like, you know, Mozzie, he beat you to the punch, bro. You know, he moved to L.A., he met a lot of friends, he got a lot of connections, everybody loves him, he's in the music game. That's what the music game is about, it's about connections and, and learning and, and becoming friends and networking. Most of music is about networking. It's not about, oh, well, you know, these niggas don't fuck with these niggas because you a punk. And No, nah, it's about networking, it's about you going out there and putting in your own network, talking. You explain your story about what happened. You explain your story, you know, and and and, and don't let a man go to LA and and, and uh, tell his story. And everyone's like, "Well, I fuck with you because you hella cool." And this nigga is scared to come out here to to tell his story. So that's that's what it's really about, you know. This black ball and all this shit, and hate to see a real nigga shine. That's, Whatever, man. Niggas, niggas make up their own fantasies in their mind, man. 